Next curve. Hey guys, this is Leonard Lee, executive analyst at Next Curve, and I'm here at the Qualcomm uh, HQ. And I'm here with Rodrigo Amaral. Why are you laughing? <laughs> <laughs> Take this seriously, my man. Uh, but I'm here to uh, get a demo of um, ControlNet, which is a really cool, cool application of uh, what you might call edge AI. Okay, so you've all heard about generative AI. Well, um, what uh, you know, Qualcomm's doing is popularizing these deployments of generative AI on um, on devices like smartphones. So, how's it going? Perfect. Yeah, great. Are you ready to do this? Are you nervous? You look. He looks kind of nervous. Uh, a little bit nervous uh, yeah. being here with you. Uh, <laughs> but uh, you know, I'm going to give you a moment to introduce yourself and uh, yourself in the uh, control net uh, demo. Absolutely, Leonard. Thanks for being here. Uh, my name is Rodrigo Amaral, and I'm going to be showing you today control net. Um, this is a neural network architecture that is built on top of stable diffusion. It has over 1.5 billion parameters. Um, and it's today running locally on device on airplane mode. So here you can see in under 11 seconds, we were able to transform completely my pretty plain office space into a modern office with brown wooden details um, and red chairs, just under 11 seconds. So this is the cool thing. We actually uh, prompted this thing on uh, together as a collaboration to see how well this works. And, you know, as many of you know about generative AI, you know, it's not 100% accurate. You know, you have to tweak it and play with it. But what's really cool here is simply the fact that, you know, it, um, you can deploy these large language models, generative AI transformer models onto a device like this. And if you think a little bit more narrowly about what kind of applications you can enable uh, on endpoint devices, this is actually really, really super interesting, if not uh, transformational. And it really ties in uh, well with um, Qualcomm's um, thesis that the future of computing is going to be about hybrid AI. So Rodrigo, hey, uh, thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate the thank demo. Uh, and um, you know, if you ever find yourself at the Qualcomm headquarters, you might want to check this out. It's pretty cool. Um, you know, Gen AI is what Gen AI is. You know, uh, if you follow my research, you know <laughs> what my thoughts on it are. Uh, but there's definitely utility and some great potential on device, and that's uh, what I'm actually really excited about. But the the broader in implications for where AI will go, especially uh, across the edge and outside of the data center. Um, so, um, super interesting stuff. Thanks for your time and. Uh, you know, appreciate the, the demo. It's really cool stuff. Yeah, no, we appreciate you being here and covering this uh, for us. Yeah, anytime.